Last year, right? Hey, we've been working on these tools for a long time, and one of our biggest focuses was to make sure that when we deliver cordless framers, we were giving the performance and the durability that end users expect, and our customers really need it. So the wait's finally over today. We're excited to announce the M18 fuel framing nailers. Not one, but two. We're going to have a cordless 30 degree, as well as a 21 degree framing nailer as well. So we'll talk through some of the differences there. First and foremost, first thing you'll notice with this tool is the performance. We went out in the field, we started field testing these prototypes. One of the first things that continued to come up was the use of engineered lumbers becoming more and more commonplace. LVLs, LSLs, PSLs, you name it. And it's a big frustration, not just for cordless, but even some pneumatics. That was one of our primary focuses, was making sure we could deal with all of those dense engineered lumbers on site. So that's the first thing I'll demo for you today. In this tool, I've got full three and a half inch nails by 131. You'll see we'll bury these into this uh, double ply LVO. Pretty impressive, right? Nice. Now, power is only one piece of the equation when you talk about framing nailers. You need to be productive. You need to move quickly, right? And that was another thing we continued to hear is that with cordless tools, I often have to change the way that I work. I have to slow down. I can't really move as quickly as I'd like to with these cordless framers. Well, both the Milwaukee cordless framing nailers will fire at over three nails per second. That's going to really act to bridge that gap between some of the more supplementary options on the cordless side today and your full production pneumatic framers. I'll show this off right now, but I think a lot of you will probably want to get hands on in a little bit as well. What do you think? And the best part about this is all of this performance comes without the use of a gas cartridge. There's no consumable, that means no maintenance, no consistent downtime with that tool, and no cold weather performance issues. All you need is an M18 battery and nails and you're ready to go. What's the max length? What's that? No, no oil, you don't need to do any oil or maintenance. What was the max length? Max length is three and a half inches on both of the tools. The minimum is two inches. On the 30 degree, it'll take 113 up to 131 clip tet or full offset round. On the 21 degree, it'll take up to 148 in shank diameter, knowing in some regions that larger nails being specced in more and more common. How long will it run on a three and a half inch nail coming out of it? On a five eight power battery, it'll run at about 700 nails per charge. It actually won't change no matter what length nail you have in there. It fires with the same power every time. You've got an adjustment for depth in the front of the tool. It'll give you 700 nails in a 5 which is what it'll ship with. Now, the other really unique thing, and you guys can see it over on this side installed on the tool that Milwaukee's launching, is two accessories for full capacity uh, magazines. So that's one of the first questions I continued to get was, hey, the power's great, the rate of fire is great, but I'm reloading my magazines all the time. Can you guys give us a full-length magazine similar to my pneumatic? That's exactly what we've done. So alongside both the framing nailers, we'll be launching, launching these accessory extended capacity magazines for both the 30 and the 21 degree. It'll allow the user to put two strips of nails into this tool and really span that gap again between some of the more supplementary cordless to your full production pneumatics. What's the cost on one of those? On the tool or the magazine? Tool. Tool's going to be 349 as a bare tool, 449 as a one battery kit with a 50 battery, and the extended capacity magazine will be 69. Easy to change the really easy to change. So we've got a, a tool on board. We've got a hex key on board here. You'll take two screws out of the top here in the frame and then one out of the magazine. Same way you clear a jam if you ever have a jam in the magazine. You throw in the longer mag and you're good to go. What about jamming the head? Jam the head? Yes. So this entire piece comes off, so you have access to everything in the head will have. Did you say uh, bear tool weight yet? No, I didn't say bear tool weight. It's a good question. It's about 9.7 pounds. 9.6, 9.7. Bear tool, no battery. No nails in it. So we'll plenty of time to get back here. I'll hang out in the framing section, make sure we answer any other questions, get hands on. There's no other questions right now. One thing I didn't cover is this will be shipping before the end of the year, so you'll see this in the fall. What's the difference between the 21 and the Good question. So the difference between the 21 and the 30 is there's a huge amount of regionality and geographic differences with the styles of nails. We wanted to make sure that we had a solution for wherever you were in the country or in the globe. So the 21 degree is popular in certain parts of the U.S., for example, and the 30 is more popular in others. They both take full the 21 will take the full round head, the 30 degree will take clipped head or full round offset. So yes. All right, we're